Look at this fish swimming in the sea, or this bird up a tree. What about a bacteria? Or even a bumblebee? Don't worry, I won't rhyme for the entire video, but the amazing diversity of life on planet Earth is truly staggering. There are estimated to be between 5 to 10 million different living species on the Earth, and that's excluding all the bacteria, as they are really hard to count. So what do they all have in common? What makes something a living thing? Well. Scientists have found that all living things, from the simple little amoeba all the way up to a big tall giraffe and everything in between, can carry out these seven life processes. The first is movement. Some organisms move very obviously, like a cheetah, the fastest animal on the planet, which can run at 60 miles per hour. Other organisms, like plants, move much more slowly, but all living things do move. The second is respiration. Respiration is a process that occurs in cells to release energy that is stored in food. Organisms have evolved slightly different ways of doing this, but all living things need energy to live, and this is how they release it. The third is sensitivity. In order for a living organism to survive, it needs to be able to sense its environment. It could be to find food, or shelter, or avoid predators, but all living things have evolved at least simple sensors to do this. Humans have the five senses of touch, taste, sight, sound and smell, which gives us a very clear understanding of our environment. The fourth process is growth. All organisms grow. In basic organisms, the cell gets a little bit bigger. In more complex organisms, you get more and more cells. Animals tend to stop growing in adulthood, but some plants can continue growing and get very big. In fact, the biggest living organism on the planet isn't a plant, it's a fungus. It's a type of honey fungus growing in Oregon and is thought to be 2.4 miles across. Fifth is reproduction. Some organisms can reproduce on their own, such as bacteria. This is called asexual reproduction. Others carry out sexual reproduction using a male and a female of the species. Bacteria can reproduce every 20 minutes, but an African elephant takes 22 months to carry its baby. Excretion is the sixth process. This is not the same as pooing, which is actually called egestion, but excretion means getting rid of waste from chemical reactions in the organism. Respiration, for example, makes waste products, and each organism needs to get rid of these. This is called excretion. The final process is nutrition. Every living organism needs some sort of food. Plants can make their own food by the process of photosynthesis, but all other organisms have to get their food from somewhere else. However, the process of obtaining food by either way is called nutrition. So there you have it, the seven life processes. You can remember them easily by learning the phrase Mrs. Gren. Movement, respiration, sensitivity, growth, reproduction, excretion and nutrition. Thank you.